स्टैंड एंड कमिटी नॉर्म्स नॉर्म्स फॉर एस्टिमेटिंग आर फॉर डब्ल्यू सी फंडिंग स्टैंड एंड कमिटी नॉर्म्स फॉर डब्ल्यू सी फंडिंग करंट असच आई एम गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल करंट असच रुपीज टेन लैख करंट असच रुपीज टेन लैख इन ब्रैकेट कोर करंट असट वॉट इज दिस आई एक्सप्लेन आज वी प्रोसीड कोर करंट असच रुपीज टू लैख कोर करंट असच रुपीज टू लैख करंट लायबिलिटी करंट लायबिलिटी रुपीज फोर लैख Okay, just add this working capital funding in bracket. I should have written the term there itself. Maximum permissible bank finance (MPBF). Maximum permissible bank finance. That is how much bank can give us a loan. This is as per that committee. Practically every bank doesn't follow this exactly. You can have you can take certain exception if you want, but this is what the committee said. The committee said you will have to estimate your working capital requirement like this. They gave three methods. method 1 will give you higher loan method 2 will give you lower loan method 3 will give you the lowest loan the amount of loan will keep going down method 1 working capital funding is equal to 75% of current assets minus 75% of current liabilities apply this and tell me the answer very simple 75% of current assets minus 75% of current liability this is what the method said in short it is 75% of your working capital i'll be giving 75% 10 lakh minus 4 lakh is 6 lakh into 75% into 75% how much is the loan 4 lakh 50000 as per method 1 i'll give a loan of 4 lakh 50000 i'll give a loan of 4 lakh 50000 clear now let's understand why 75% what bank is saying is when you need money you also put some money some money from your pocket for example i'm running a business if entire money is given by a bank i am not that much worried if the business fails also If the business is failing, what will happen? No loss for me. Every money is contributed by the bank. Bank will say, "I will not give full money. You also put some money from your pocket. Why should I give every money from my pocket? If I give you everything, whatever you need, then you are not contributing anything in the business. You are not interested that much in the business unless your capital is in place there. How will you get that interest? Because if your capital is there. you earn profits money comes to you you earn dividends all that interest comes in so what will happen is in case promoter is not contributing anything even when you buy a house the banker will say i will give you 80% loan 20% you bring on your own you buy a car 20% you will have to pay 80 75% bank will give why is this needed because you should also have some interest in the business 75 is a general norm across all loans which normally banks give banks will say 75 we will give 25 you bring sometimes if banks wants you to encourage taking loan they may give even 80% 85% and all balance money you will have to contribute next method 2 each method will lead to lower funding working capital funding is equal to 75% of current assets minus 100% of current liability 100% of current liabilities how much is the loan can you calculate current ratio if you take a short term loan of 350 can you calculate current ratio after taking a loan which is part of current liability 
3 lakh 50 will form part of current liability what is the current ratio tell me the current ratio 1.33 and this is what banks think as ideal current ratio banks think ideal current ratio is 1.33 how is 1.33 current asset is 10 lakh current liability is 4 plus 350 4 plus 3 lakh 50 7 lakh 50 7 lakh 50 is the current liability 10 lakh divided by 7 lakh 50 10 lakh thanks 10 lakh divided by 7 lakh 50 so you get a current ratio of 1.33 and this is as per bank the ideal current ratio so whenever somebody some banks wants to check they always think that ideal ratio is 1.33 in that 0.33 is the extra part of the current asset. The 0.33 is the, see if you see 1.33 how it works is, 1 is current liability, 0.33 is extra, extra is your money, extra is your own money, 1 is to 0.33 75 is to 25 mathematically, 1 is to 0.33 is technically 75 is to 25. So bank is saying very clearly, you bring 25% money, I will bring 75%. So, in the second method, what happens is bank is saying, I will subtract what? Entire current liability because that has come from outside. I will not subtract only 75%. I will subtract what? 100% of current liability. Second method gave a lower loan. Third method will further give a lower loan. Will give a further lower loan. Whichever method the bank wants to follow. Committee said follow the lowest. Lowest means third method. Lowest will give to third method. Method 3. Seventy five percent of non core current assets minus hundred percent of current liability. Now, let's first understand what are they trying to say. Bank is saying something is core current asset, something is non core current asset. They have not defined exactly what is core, what is non core. Question has to tell core is very, very critical for a company. So, if something is very critical, you put your own money is what the concept is saying. You put your own money. One example they gave for a core current asset is cash. Cash is something which whatever cash is there, you put your own money. Don't take a loan and put it in the form of cash. Don't take a loan on one side and second side you have it as in the cash. So, whatever is core current asset, of the 10 lakh, how much is core current asset? 2 lakh. Two lakh which means 8 lakh only bank will give a loan against 8 lakh. Not only 8 lakh, against 8 lakh only bank will give a loan how much 75 percent in that also what he will subtract 100 percent of current liability can i get a negative answer possibly you may get a negative answer which means no loan to you which means no loan will be given so equal to what 75 percent into what 8 lakh, eight lakh minus 100 percent into 4 lakhs what's the final answer two so this is how tandem committee norms will work you will give a loan according to this calculation first method 450 they are working with an ideal current ratio of 1.33. They are working with an ideal current ratio of 1.75. You will have to understand what is 75.25 is. 1.33 broken down as 1 and 0.33. Broken down as 1 and 0.33. 1 is CL. 0.33 is your own money. 0.33 is your own money. Which is in the form of equity, not in the form of debt. Any doubts on this? Clear?